Hello friends, often wonder how to review the GTs after you give your grand test or the mock test. So here I am Dr. Nikita Nanwani, your educator, mentor and friend in your journey of NEET PG, FMG or INICT. And today in this video, I'll help you understand how to do the GT review efficiently. So the first question, when should you do the GT review? Ideally, the GT review should be done immediately after you, after you finish the GT the same day because the questions are fresh in your mind and you would remember that what was your thought process during marking that answer. Second question, how should you do the GT review? Just the correct ones, the incorrect ones or all the questions? Again, the ideal scenario is that you should be reviewing all the questions but prioritizing starting with the incorrect ones first. Next, now how should be the process? So I would personally recommend uh, this process of reviewing the GT because I think that this is the most effective and that is doing the review subject wise. So for example, you've given the GT, now you want to review it. So review it subject wise, like anatomy, all questions at once. And even in that, when you start with anatomy, first review the incorrect questions first and then the ones that you had guessed, you had skipped and then the ones which are the correct ones. So what is the advantage by reviewing with this process is that you will have the information that GT has to give about the subject of anatomy at one place. And you can make the notes as well, like all anatomy notes at one place. Remember that when you are making notes for this exam, it's very important that your notes are organized and segregated subject wise. So when you review the GT also subject wise, it's easy and handy for you to write the notes at one place. So let's say you have a separate notebook that this is my anatomy notebook, right? So you should ideally be having a GT mistake book as well, uh, segregated into subjects, or you can have small, small uh, subject wise books for the GT mistake book and your anatomy notes should go in that book itself physiology should go into the physiology section or the physiology notebook and when you are giving the next GT before giving the next GT you should be reviewing all these points because until and unless you revise something it is not going to help you in retention remember nobody is superhuman to remember everything in the first read the more revisions you do the better it is and revisions are always more handy and more efficient when you make notes because you must have realized by yourself that it's very difficult to revise from the apps even if you have bookmarked the questions so when you are making notes even for anatomy it is it is advisable that you make the notes section wise. So let's say head and neck wale points will go in head and neck, upper limb, lower limb, you know, like you have in your notes or in your textbooks that the sections are segregated. So that way is what will happen is suppose someday you have to do head and neck anatomy revision. So all your points, whatever GT mistakes you have done from head and neck will come at one place. And other thing that you can do when you are making notes for the GT mistakes is also that you can write down the MCQ ID of that question because let's say that sometime down the line when you are reviewing that notes, you are not able to recollect what exactly was the question or you want to go into the table which was attached to the explanation, it becomes handy. So write down the MCQ ID as well. So the sooner you start this process, the better it is so that, you know, you are consolidating your notes, you are revising them and it helps you in a better uh, consolidation of the information which is there. So I hope uh, this helps you in understanding how exactly you should be reviewing your GT. Trust me, you follow this process and it's going to really help you in boosting your scores, not just in GT, but in the final exam as well. So that was for today. If you have liked this video, please do share it with your friends, save it and follow us for more such trips and tricks to help you crack the exam. Thank you.